Hi, my name is Alex Iverson and I'm a Pathway student with the National Weather Service in Phoenix, Arizona. Today we're going to be showing you how we prepare and launch our Zero Zulu or 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time weather balloons. There are two parts to a weather balloon, the radioson and the balloon. The balloon is a large hydrogen or helium filled balloon. The balloon can travel as high as 22 miles into our atmosphere. The radio sonde is the second piece to a weather balloon. This instrument is responsible for collecting the necessary data across the atmosphere, such as temperature, pressure, and relative humidity. GPS position data are also transmitted and can determine wind direction and wind speed. Meteorologists across the world launch balloons to get a better understanding of the atmosphere. Meteorologists launch weather balloons across the world twice a day at 0 and 12 Zulu. Here in Arizona, that would be 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. respectively. The data collected by radio sondes are the primary source for assessing the state of the upper atmosphere. There are many applications for the data collected, such as input for weather forecasting models, local forecasts, and weather and climate research, to name a few. Now that we know the importance of weather balloons, we can finally start preparing for our launch. We have everything that we need in our office. We have the radio sonde, the balloon, and lastly we have a piece of thread that connects the radio sonde and the balloon. The first thing that we do is open the radio sonde package and place it on the device to register and prepare the instrument for launch. It takes a while for the device to be calibrated. While this is happening, we pack our bag with all the supplies we need before we head to our launch site. Our launch site is located on the roof of our office building. On our roof, we have a bucket to keep our balloon grounded while we fill it up and our helium supply. As the balloon is filling up with helium, we prepare all of our materials necessary to attach the radio sonde to the balloon. Once our balloon is filled up with helium, we use zip ties to tie it off and connect the radio sonde to the balloon. Once the balloon and radio sonde are secured tightly together, we call the Phoenix Sky Harbor Tower to get approval for launch. Now that we've been granted approval for launch, we can finally release our weather balloon. Once the radio sonde reaches 100 millibars, we terminate the sounding. It takes about 45 to 60 minutes for the balloon flight to complete. This diagram depicts the data collected from the balloon we launched in this video. This diagram is called a skew t log p diagram. Thank you for following along with the National Weather Service in Phoenix. We hope you enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes of our daily weather balloon launch.